Okay. Snake man here, feeding time again. Dangerous snakes that kill people. We go here. We have rat tattooing. This is what we call a wiener rat. It's the size of a large mouse. And then I have a brown snake and I go, come to daddy, girl snake. Yee. See, look. Food! Ah! And she eats it. This is a snake. Now, while I've got your corner, she'll just sit there and munch on things. She's very old. We've bred her many years. And if you have a look at this lump here, that's caused by a microchip that has moved. The Department of Sustainability a few years ago made us microchip all our devenomized snakes. That one has moved. Now, of course, snakes are not designed to be microchipped. They should not be microchipped because as fast as you can put them in, you can take them out. Now, unfortunately, that's how sick this world has become. We have bureaucrats who have no knowledge of snakes or no real knowledge of snakes, no working knowledge of snakes. Their only interest is a vested interest to protect their own people, the incompetence at Melbourne Zoo, who's part of the same department. And they impose arbitrary rules on us where we have to mutilate our snakes and perform invasive surgery in the form of microchips uh, just to keep them happy. Now this snake here, we have bred her many times and she's got lots of babies and we've actually got videos of the babies and if you go to our YouTube channel you can actually see the snake eating the side of the plastic cage. That's actually one of this snake's babies uh, at the time of the video made, four years old. This is a girl snake and they are lovely now. Brown snakes, very intelligent, got a lot of time for them and she's actually coming out for a shed. We don't feed her too much because she's old. I'm going to get another snake out now and then here we have a large tiger snake. This is about five feet or one and a half meters. Lovely snake, much too nice, doesn't bite me. It's beautiful. Its name, Paris, Hill, Paris Hilton. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the snake back into the box here. And then we just get a, um, a rat and I wave it in front of the snake there. Got the rat, keep your video on the rat and we see snake oh snake oh. Come here, snake oh snake oh. Put the snake on the rat there. Uh, this thing eats everything you stick in front of it. Come on. Here. Freddy, eat. Rat. Watch. Bang. And as you can see, it eats. Now what we're going to do, keep the video running, and we'll just watch this guy woof down this rat, because in theory, he should eat it very, very quickly. This snake is actually very old. It is a mainland tiger snake, rated by a lot of reptile authorities as being the fourth deadliest in the world. Now, I actually do know a lot about snakes, but in terms of venom, my knowledge is basically the same as anyone else who would surf the internet and look up the top 10 deadliest snakes, because I am not a biochemist. I have never performed venom tests on mice and rats to see how many snakes kill X, Y, and Z. And unfortunately, you have lies, damn lies, and statistics, and how dangerous a snake is, is actually also rated sometimes off how many mice they can kill at a certain day, time, age, and other variables such as you know too many variables this one here is a male he is now aged if i can get my mass right he is about 11 or 12 years old which is extremely old for a tiger snake in the real world in the bush it's rare for a tiger snake to live more than seven years they normally reproduce in the fourth year if a female's lucky she might get one or two lots of babies out so if she gets two lot out that gets it to the sixth year dies a year after giving birth does knock them around in captivity though they do recover but in the wild, of course, recovery is a lot uh, tougher because you can't just pump the food in. Uh, they've got parasites, so they can't gain the condition out of the food. I'll move that mouse around. Uh, this snake will probably take a while to... Uh, we'll, we'll keep the camera going. It's uh, a bit dopey. didn't get a very good grip uh, on the uh, mouse, uh, on the rat, I should say. Um, but they don't live very long in the wild. Um, you can get the exceptional snake that may live longer, but usually they're in captivity. This particular animal we're looking at here in the video uh, had a very trouble-free uh, life up until about uh, two years ago. And as he's got older, he's ha had a, a few um, infections and those sorts of things uh, we've treated with antibiotics. Obviously, if it had been in the wild, the snake uh, would have died, uh, but we've managed to uh, uh, patch it up, so to speak, with various drugs uh, uh, to uh, uh, stop it when it's been sick. The infections have been like influenza type, uh, a viral, you know, bacterial combination type uh, uh, infections. Um, in the um, normal course of events, uh, uh, a middle-aged, not an old snake, would probably have just 
you know, you wouldn't have even noticed it picked up the bug. Where the bugs come from, it's hard to say. But either way, uh, uh, old snakes do succumb more easily. What I'm going to do is, this snake's going to be a while eating this, so if you just bring it up to me, and I'll just give you the rundown. We uh, take these snakes out for reptile shows at schools. Snake busters are the only people in the entire world with the top five deadliest snakes in the world. However, the snakes themselves, they don't even know uh, that they're deadly, and they see the world just as you and I do, as an animal that eats, sleeps, drinks, and when they get lucky, they breed. Thank you.